Hey everybody, welcome back to OSI. This is the 1B group of workouts. So this it comes at the end. These come at the end of week six in the program. If you recall, you have your push, pull, and legs. And if you remember, there was 1A, 2A, 3A. Now we're on to 1B. The circuits will be the exact same as the 1A workouts. The thing that's changing is the contrast wave loading. I definitely found this, this switch in the contrast wave loading more challenging. In the 1A group, your heavy, heavy PRs was your one rep max, and then the very small amount of reps done before that one rep max was meant to uh, potential I think he called it potentiate the one so help you to lift that that maximum one rep this time around it's flip-flopped it's not the exact same percentages of weights that he's requiring so you're not doing 100% of your one rep max or in one the one A's you reached 102.5% of your one rep max now you are lowering the weight and that one rep max, the heaviest, comes first. And then you switch around your weights and you do that small set of reps, which he has added on a little bit. So you are doing um, a, a minute amount more reps in your contrast weight loading, your compound lifts, your, your big lifts. I'm standing farther back from the camera with the intention of I have not, I've stopped measuring and I, I've stopped um, taking pictures like progress pictures. I haven't done much of that. So my intention was if I stand farther back as this time goes on, hopefully like I'll start seeing the, the changes because I am still in keto. I will say um, it's going very smoothly. And I have two things. First up, I found an amazing cauliflower pizza crust recipe that is very quick and very easy. Um, I will I will put the link below. It's a YouTube video, but it's literally two cups of rice cauliflower, two cups mozzarella cheese shredded, and two eggs. Mix it all together on your pan. Dump it out on parchment paper and just flatten it as thin as you can go and 450 for 15 minutes. It was so easy, so good. So that might be my new go-to recipe for a little while. My husband loved it too. So I will, like I said, I'll link that below. That being said, number two being keto. I will, I have made the, the switch. I am in full keto. My body is burning fat for fuel, so I feel good, but I will say I do notice I can't lift as heavy weights, as heavy as I could when I was basically cargo loading and then coming down here and working out. That's a, there's some give and take and that is definitely a give I am willing to give. So that's one consideration. I have heard other people say that yes, it does when they are doing keto, it does affect their workouts, how intense they may be able to go or how heavy a weight they can lift. Lastly, today's workout just did remind me with these workouts, your contrast wave loading, shifting all those weights around, 
and then going into your circuits. There's three circuits, three exercises in each. It's a lot of house cleaning. Like, it, it, I'm, I, you're, I'm definitely moving a lot of weights around, adjusting. It takes time in between the circuits to set the circuits up. So, um, I just, I, uh, that's coming back to me after doing AX1 last week and pretty much how quickly you can get through an AX1 workout. It, there's not, there's not much for transitioning there. So, in the past, if you remember, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go jog after this, or tomorrow, uh, like I said, I was hitting up, like, in the schedule, tomorrow is supposed to be the second upper body pull or push, whichever one. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm doing these workouts one time, and I'm sandwiching rest days in between them. If I get up and maybe do a little bit of, like, a nice light walk, or ride on the bike or something, it'd be very moderately paced. Uh, I'm slowing it down. That's the game plan for now, and it's the game plan that really seems to be working for me. The only other thing today I took from, if you remember when I started this program was I was doing correctives at the end of the workouts, which I still am going to do, but then I also took a little tip from AX1 and threw in one core move at the end of this. It doesn't seem as overwhelming as trying to throw it to do core four on top of it. One little ab move at the end was just plenty for me. And last week I did notice that month four of old school iron has opened up and I do see that the third month you're working pairs like chest and shoulders I will double check for you and get back to you on that and show you a clip of what the calendar looks like but month four definitely is one one group a day chest is one day back one day shoulders is one day arms is one day um, so, but that, how he breaks it up, if we continue with circuits, I haven't gotten that far. So I will see you for the last two 1B workouts of the week later this week. And I'll keep you updated with how keto's going and, um, what ends up being my plan for those in-between days. So, see ya. Morning everybody, it's uh, Sunday morning, so I just got done having a pretty large keto breakfast because my husband likes to uh, cook breakfast on Sunday mornings. We've got one of those flat top grills he got for Christmas, so um, bacon, eggs, and then I do have a recipe for like a quick microwave almond bread, so we split that with some cream cheese on top, so I'm feeling very full <laughs> and satisfied. Um, it's leg day. I was kind of craving though a nice walk, so the plan is to maybe, just for maybe 15-20 minutes, listen to some music, 
uh, get a nice walk in before finishing up this 1B group of exercises or workout. And yesterday I did end up going for a jog. It started out as a jog, as always, around just that small loop around my house. That last uh, loop, though, I did include some sprints, so that felt, felt pretty good, too. So that is a wrap on the 1B group of exercises. Next week or in the next day or two, tomorrow will be a rest day and then I'm going to start the, the 2B group, which again repeats the 2A group minus that change in the contrast wave loading. And percentages are changing just slightly for this next set of contrast wave loading, but the format stays the same for the B group. Um, if you recall, so keto, keto is going really, really well. I'm doing, feeling fantastic. In fact, yesterday I did a 23 hour fast before I broke my fast. I wasn't, I wasn't hungry. I was freezing cold, which I, is very normal during fasting. Um, and the weather kind of took a turn for the crap. So I was in the house and I was just kind of like, you know what? Mentally, I'm just fighting this. I'm just gonna have dinner and call it a night. Other notes on that, the pizza. I've ate more pizza than I've probably eaten in a long time. It's fabulous. Other note on it, different ratios work. Uh, the primary, or when I found the recipe, it was two, two cups cheese, two cups rice cauliflower, two eggs. I have knocked that down to one, one, and one. For personal size pizza, worked. Uh, I've upped it to three for family size leftover pizza. It worked. I use Rayo's homemade sauce in the jar at the store. It doesn't have sugar. Um, yes, I know I could make my own, but the whole point of this is making something fast and easy. <sighs> Sometimes people ask like, why do you, I don't know, people have this misconception that keto is very unhealthy, which it, it's not um, but why do I go keto the main reason I go keto is two. I get two things from it first it really helps me gain control of my carb addiction and my sugar addiction and get that under control for a while two I like to incorporate fasting I enjoy the health benefits that come with fasting I cannot fast while I'm eating carbohydrates are quite a few carbs. Um, I have hypoglycemic responses probably because I've been eating so many carbs that my insulin is running very high and it, if I try to go without eating it, it bottoms out my, my blood glucose. Um, this isn't new to me. This has happened to me since I think even in high school. So um, that's, that's two reasons. I just find for myself Keto and fasting go hand in hand for me. Um, as soon as I can, I see my ketones on my my meter hit point anywhere like probably I'm usually like 1.0. I know I can fast. My body's feeding on on fat. I'm good to go. So other than that, I'm still really enjoying slowing down, slowing down significantly. Um, I did have one, one, I should side note back to the keto. 
again during the push workout i again noticed a decrease in my strength especially the contrast wave loading and the bench but um compromise i am just willing to make beginning of march march 1st i weighed myself 157.6 I believe the beginning of April is, is coming up here, last week of March, so uh, probably hop on the scale beginning of April just as a see where I'm at kind of deal. I know I've, I've shed a lot of water weight. That's, that's a given right off the bat when if you start low carb, you start keto, you are peeing constantly all that, that water weight coming off, um, which, which feels amazing. <laughs> it's kind of a an instant gratification kind of ideal and then it's, it slows uh slowing down slowing down is continuing to work like i said i think this week consisted of the three b workouts one b workouts uh jogged yesterday and that might have been about it i don't i don't think there was much else Besides maybe uh, some walks on the treadmill, those are mo just as much mental as they are physical for me or getting outside and walking. So I'll see you guys next week for 2B group of workouts. Thanks for watching.